Hey guys, this is Nick again from HTC Source. We have the HTC Inspire 4G and we're going to give you a quick look at uh, speed tests with uh, AT&T's first 4G phone for their HSPA Plus network. Uh, we have two applications here. We have the FCC test and then the speedtest.net application, uh, which most people are familiar with. Uh, speed so far look to be comparable to what we're getting with uh, T-Mobile's HSBA Plus here in the Twin Cities, um, but uh, we'll let you see the numbers themselves. Uh, first download here with uh, speedtest.net, 2 megabytes per second download. Uh, upload speeds looking to be a little bit slower, um, right around 275 with a ping of 224. I'm going to run it a second time since the numbers do vary quite a bit from test to test. And here we go, the second time around, which is typically the faster one, seems to be a little bit slower. We're just going to run that one more time uh, to see if we get some different numbers. And there you go, you can see there, uh, this time around, uh, peaked up to 4 megabyte per second downloads and averaging 3.3 uh, megabyte per second downloads. And then upload speeds reaching into the mid 350s finishing up at 372. Uh, we're going to go back to the home screen here and use the FCC's speed test. See if our numbers vary any with that. Um, we actually used this earlier this afternoon to upload our first uh, hands-on unboxing video since uh, our Wi-Fi network here at home wasn't working so well. So uh, we've been testing this out. We've used the hotspot. The speeds went pretty good. It's actually faster than our Comcast for some reason since uh, it seems like they were having some network issues. So first test here with the FCC application, uh, 2 megabyte download, uh, just 0.15 megabyte per second upload with latency of 264. We'll run that one more time to see if we get any different results. I mean, so far the speeds haven't been terribly impressive, but uh, using HSPA Plus, uh, it's pretty much on par with what we've seen with T-Mobile's supposed 4G network. So um, you're not going to get any 4G LTE speeds that we've seen from Verizon at CES, but uh, definitely a lot faster than what we've come to expect on AT&T's network.